for sure. They're, they're two guys that need no Eric Griffin. Matthew Espinosa. There you go. What's up? How's it going, y'all? The the yeah, the first time I met Matthew was through a, a, an ex-girlfriend of his a million yeah. years ago. And she was like, oh, come over to my boyfriend's house. You know, he lives in this fat house around the corner from you. You should really meet him. He's an amazing actor. I go in there. The kid comes out. I'm like, he's fucking dating like a 12 year old. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck, Literally. Fuck, this is your boyfriend. He's like, hey, dude, what's happening? And I'm like, what, looking around. Like, what the fuck? Kid, I'm like, what the fuck does this kid do? You yeah. Know? And you, really, you really reevaluate your life when you get around a kid like that. Listen, yeah. I think, but by the way, we should talk about that because I, I mean, I think I'm a little bit older than you, but we're definitely sharing some ground yes, in the same yes. generation. A lot of these motherfuckers make us reevaluate a lot of shit. Do already, I'm feeling as a 24 year old with the new kids coming up. I'm just like, okay, that's how they should. That's but how they. But you know what? But it. you want to transcend anyway, so yeah. we'll get yeah, into so that because I've had some like serious conversations with you and the future, but you know, and your future and, mm -hmm. and the way you see it. But it is kind of amazing that you were, and I mean, let's just talk about the social thing for like two seconds. You yeah, were on sure. that kind of like first tier. Mm -hmm. Of people who got in on Vine, that was your thing, right? Yeah. So at the time you get, you're getting into Vine. Mm -hmm. What else is popping? Is Snapchat popping? No, not yet. Is Instagram like where was Vine in this kind of um, social? So Vine was such a new thing to the point where like there was no content. Like the only type of video content people were really digesting at that point was YouTube. And on that note, that's a long form aspect of you know content. So. Vine opened up this like squirrel like fast mentality of like video, and then video, and then another video, then another video. Without Vine, there wouldn't be a TikTok, you know. Right. So it like, evolved, yeah. it just evolved to this next thing. So That's it was when like, what was it? Was like, what was it? Ten seconds, thirty seconds, six. Or six. Oh, yeah. You six had seconds, like, you had six, six yeah. seconds to get someone to like you, and that to me, was, I love that. I was like, okay, I got to make someone laugh in six seconds. Like the Let's ultimate run it. elevator pitch. Right. So yeah, yeah, it's like an elevator yeah. pitch, an, an elevator. So pitch. six like, seconds. What was your first? Vine that you post and when you saw the reaction from it, it was like okay I can fuck with this so my first vine I posted I didn't even want to download vine it was my friend Timothy we were out just grabbing some ice cream with some girlfriends of ours and we went back to his crib and we were just chilling just on YouTube and stuff he's like dude you should get this app called vine I was like oh, I've heard of that nah I don't nah, I just like YouTube stuff I was making YouTube videos already so I was like nah I'm good on that he showed me a couple vines I was like okay fine I'll try it out made a vine it was fun and then over the weeks, I started doing on Vine what I did in class, and that was just trying to make as many people laugh as I could. Like growing up, it would be a bad day uh, if digital, I didn't make well, anyone laugh. Class, class. Yeah, literally, that was that was my goal. I but I didn't do it because I could see numbers or followers coming from it. I just did it because I enjoyed it. But so, you can see that, right? On once, Vine early on, you yeah. can see like how it's developing, how more mm -hmm. and more people are beginning to follow. Yeah, and on Vine, where people could they share those those like little six second episodes you're making could people share those what do you mean well, they meaning like how does yeah how does yeah. it get around like how does well the thing was I, that i, I, I was i was just so making them an audience i was just making them and then there was this twitter account called best vines that had like 500k followers Got it. So and back then 500k is way more than 500k lot, right, now right. you know so that'd be the equivalent of like probably four million right now three million you know on a saturation level mm -hmm. versus then now and like i just randomly hit him up i was like hey uh, I remember it was this kid named Liam Finlay. I will never forget his name. And I was just like, hey, man, um, I have some vines if you ever want to check it out. I forgot I even sent that message. Right. And then one day, um, I'm just doing some science homework, and I'm getting a bunch of texts from my friends. Oh, my God, this is crazy. Ah. Everyone's, like, freaking out, and they're telling me to go check Twitter and Vine and all this stuff. Turns out he ended up reposting one of my vines, right, right, and it right, started right. blowing up. And then right then and there was when I started cross-promoting you know, promoting all right, stuff. Like, right. Snapchat wasn't an app back then to post stories. It was just a messaging app. Right. right. So that yeah. wasn't even really on my mindset. My mindset was Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Right. That's all it was. So then I just started like, hey, go here, go here, go here, and then just started uploading the content. Yeah, everywhere. that's it. Like, because I'll listen to people and be like, oh, what I did was really, the way I did it was I started on here, but then I sent everybody there, and then I used that to send everybody back to there, and then I went, hey, you just like. Yeah. It's like, because you can't have your, you can't have your eggs in one basket. Yeah, exactly. that, that's the main right. thing. And, and I already knew throughout all this, even though I don't want my eggs in one basket, this is still just a short game for me. The social media stuff is still right. just a short game. Because my acting, filmmaking, screenplay writing, that's my long game. Right. So I'm just using this. But as it has kind of been, this. but it has provided like a lot, a lot of people. Oh, for sure. You know, it, it's interesting because a lot of people in social with big followings are starting to really just replicate one another. Mm -hmm. Like they, they, there's not a unique vision in it anymore. 
But yeah, beauty is beauty, cool is cool, flashy stuff is flashy Young stuff. So hot people, is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot's always gonna be hot. Yeah. Hot's gonna always be hot. But and comedy will always be comedy, which is, is right. not that's the other thing. But mm. what's interesting about you, unlike a lot of other people, that you built this following, but you have been able to kind of, and again, most of it goes to your determination, your drive, your talent. But you have already been able to go do movies and mm-hmm. do shows and actually transcend a little bit. How much of that do you attribute to parlaying the the kind of social equity you have? Or um, do you just say it's, it has nothing to do? Because I, I have know like a million actors will tell me they'll go like, I'm up for this part, but I lost it to somebody who had a greater Twitter following. Mm-hmm. A greater IG fine because everybody, yeah. the studios, the networks want yeah. people to post. Yeah, yeah. and they hey, also save, they also save money on marketing tonight, you know? too. Exactly. That's why Kevin Hart got a whole different deal for marketing versus him acting in it. Because right. he's like, my pages are marketing pages where you guys would have to pay this agency a lot of money to mm-hmm. get this promotion. Right. I'm technically an agency in this conversation, so pay me that side and then pay me to act. You know, so right. I can definitely thank social media for so many aspects of like me getting my foot in the door. I definitely wouldn't have had my first film without the followers I had because they right. would have just already went with a more seasoned actor. That's his mic? Yeah. Oh my God, it's sick. That's hysterical. That's what we got to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We I wanted him to feel as comfortable yeah. as possible. Yeah. Yeah. All right, check, check. All right. Like this. So anyway, it's good to be here, everybody. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, <laughs> are we good now? Yeah. We good? Can you hear me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now get out of here. <laughs> Man, dude. Oh, oh, oh shit. Right, yeah, so. we're back from our break. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're back. So we were talking break. about, um, so you, you were social about, media about versus to rip that. me a new one. Man. I wasn't going to rip you a new one. I was going to say that what happens is there's this perception that you know what because what people want is they want to be liked for one thing or, or you know and just that one thing right okay so it's just like so people think like well i'm a great actor right. and and, the, and, the, and there's a side of it that's like two things can be true at the same time you can have a good following and you could be talented of course you know right. and so like you know and so maybe if you lose out to someone who has a bigger following don't take away from that person's talent of course that's what you know I always but at the same time too you know but at the yeah, same yeah, time yeah. too you have to realize that like maybe this part it doesn't need to be like the talent like like, like this isn't the godfather five yeah exactly. you yeah. know yeah. so they're like no, yeah we're gonna all take the cute star yeah, roles. yeah all, that's like, what i'm saying guest star roles and they're usually on episodic tv and it really could be anybody doing that part, and they're going to go for the but, people with but, the higher social to do their marketing. For but them. what I'm trying to say about Matt is I think that the moment that it started to take off from him, it wasn't like a thing where he was like, wow, what is this? You know, I think he has the brain to be right. like immediately he was like, oh, I know how to capitalize on this. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. So Absolutely. that's what he's done. So what I think is that in, in that process, I think that he's fully aware of, OK, I have to work on my acting and I'm going to also use this to like help propel this. Right. It doesn't have to be separate. Right. Uh, it's separate and the same, mm-hmm. but it is, it's, it's all a feeling because the, the world has changed in this social media platform. Five, six years ago, all these social media guys, they were trying to be legit in right. Hollywood. They were right. like, yeah. traditional. Oh, yeah, I yeah. want to be traditional. Yeah. They were all hitting me up like, you know, hey, you want to be in one of my sketches? You know, because right, it's Montez right, right. from Workaholics, yeah, right? right? And they thought that that was like equity and capital. And right. then five years later, they're like, hold on. More people are watching my uh, Vine than that AMC show. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. More people are watching like what I do on the internet, and it's more lucrative. Yeah. Right. So now they're just like, now it's a whole other lane. So now right. it's film, TV, social media. Right. And it's not, and one's not bigger than the other. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it, it, right. it, it's it, just you choosing which lane. It's just you choosing which in, lane. Right? So like or the, if you want to go back and forth. So that's what I'm saying. The world is ever evolving right, right. now. So right. it's crazy. And and the business model changes. I saw an article yesterday. It was like, uh, it was like one of those like top ten dumb business decisions in the past ten years. Right. That kind of thing. Right. How many of them did you make? And what? I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, one of them was uh, like nine of them. <laughs> one of them was Vine. One of them was about Vine. Right. What what happened with Vine and Twitter? buying vine right, yeah. and then it going under because you know facebook the, the the evil empire you know they 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 always look and see what what the hot thing is mm-hmm. right and they try to absorb and then it. they go 
we, well, they, they go, you no, they're gonna build it. They right? go, they go, we're gonna buy you. Right. They're gonna, can we buy you? And the people go, no, this is our thing. And then they go, okay. Okay. Now we'll do 15 second videos. Yeah, and that right. was the end of it. And that right. was, yeah. it was done. It was done. Yeah, Vine right. was done as soon as, uh, as, soon as, I, as, soon as I, Instagram I mean, was like, we're gonna do videos. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Well, Clubhouse had the opportunity to sell for like eight billion dollars. And, no, and we're like, nah, we're just gonna. And then Twitter was like, Twitter yeah. was like, okay, we'll just yeah, do it ourselves. Yeah. Doing it, right? for, yeah. And, yeah. and by the way, and by the yeah. way, and this is a question for you. Uh, uh, I think Twitter is still boss. It's the it king. And you know why? Because all of these apps have the option to share to Twitter. So if you're saying I, I want to share to this other app, you're saying that app's the better app. Right. You know, this is where people but really are. Facebook mm. and Instagram are the same thing. Don't you yeah, yeah. All three I'm, 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 but I'm saying Twitter share. and Instagram. I don't right. care what app Twitter comes out. Twitter gets the most pull. We've done. Does, you know what I mean? We've done studies with clients of mine where we've had them promote on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter brings in more results than both Instagram. Do you think and Facebook we're missing combined, an opportunity having like a Cray Twitter account? <laughs> Have there we even go. thought? Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. But if yeah. I have the thing is, people go to. I mean, at the end of the day, people go to different apps for different things, yeah, right? People sure. go that to Twitter true. for news, for right. updates. Yeah, what? Yeah, it, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, hell is going on in the world? TikTok. That's I have what a I friend do, of mine, you know? friend of mine, attorney, super smart guy, telling me I need to get my news from TikTok because that's the true news. I'm not on TikTok. Is there any kind of credibility to what he's saying? Yes and yeah. no, because some people will so. definitely really? have this aspect of like they'll do anything to get views for it. So we don't know how <laughs> real, real right. the news is. But right. at but the end of the day, I like learned a lot from TikTok too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't, I don't people have People on the front lines are sharing the information to TikTok in real yeah, time. Yeah, but you know, Instagram, they said, oh, uh, oh, TikTok, uh, you want to do that? Well, we're going to start Reels. Reels. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's so crazy it's too. Stuff. It's stuff. It's, it says TikTok, even, it says TikTok on the reels. Just, but that's yeah, what Instagram wants because people yeah. are because Instagram would want someone to be like, okay, I'm seeing someone repost their TikToks, so then I could do the same thing. Okay, I right. can get these followers too, and then they're gonna like really push reels. That's right. why when you go on Instagram, the button in the middle, as opposed to posting, posting something, it's literally it's, reels. It's the reels. The blessing yeah. is at the top right. Yeah, it's the so, reels is like, so, hey, yeah, yeah. It's so confusing yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. There's two thing. buttons. Sometimes when you press that button, it, it goes to right, right to like a, a thing. And you're like, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Then you have, yeah, 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 then you have yeah, to yeah. go to your page. You go. It's another button. It's yeah. like there's, I, I hate when they change yeah, it. Yeah, too mm-hmm. too many updates. But, but I just feel like changes. Reels, TikTok, uh, TikTok, Twitter. These are still, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Those are the big ones. They're the three yeah. big ones. They're the big ones. I still have to post the real. I got to post the real. I do a lot of stories, but I've never done a real. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the difference is between a story and a real. I think the real just lasts longer. Obviously, it's like a permanent story. Yeah, it's like a. You could have up to I think thirty seconds of it, and it's just right. more artistic. A bill or more art, you know, artistic control. control so I should. Just, so what you're saying is I should save my best work for reels. And yeah, my shit. I mean reels. Like right now, like let's say there is. Is there a difference? Film, is there <laughs> between my art film and my crappy TV shows? Is it different between stories and reels? I mean, oh, I think man. at the end of the day, it's it's just another way to promote yourself too. You know, yeah. if you do it in a very organic way, like even how we're talking right now, like if there's a cool 30 second snippet from this episode or another episode, whatever right. it may be. That's a real right then. I think the smartest thing you're saying though too is to to try to figure out how to navigate from platform to platform, yeah. taking yeah. advantage of the kind of um, audience you have on each one, right? Mm-hmm. If you said to somebody, hey man, you gotta go play like Madison Square Garden at the same time, you'll be playing Nassau Coliseum and playing West Parade Music Pack, playing the Meadowlands or whatever it is now, you know, mm-hmm. all these different things like simultaneously of being able to jump around. Mm-hmm. It makes a lot of sense. You get to keep gathering more and more audience. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like film is the same way with now, like social media. Like everyone has a production company. Everyone can make a movie now. Same with music. Anyone can make a song. So anyone can make videos. So it's like there's a lot more competition out there. But as time goes on, little by little, the how I would say it, the Drakes of the social media will be named. The M&Ms of the social media will be named. Because I've talked about this before, but at the end of the day, there hasn't been a long game yet to social media. Because unlike film and music where it's – the industry is based on a form of art that has not changed in centuries. You know what I'm saying? Film has been around for so long. Music has been around for so long. And it's all built on this form of art. Not to say there isn't any art on social media, but the industry of social media changes with whatever app is popping in that era. So it, social media is always going to shift no matter what. Yeah. Unlike film, well, the only thing that film has maybe shifted was because more people are gaining more money to make to production make companies stuff, and right? the, yeah. all the streaming services. Well, so 
but I see I mean, it. I think it shifted downward. I mean, well, no, but I see it like if I look at my business at, at being a stand-up comedian, it's like you know, back in the day, you know, you still do morning radio. Like I'm going to Denver. This right. uh, I don't know when this is coming out. This comes out tomorrow. Oh well, I'll, I'll be in Denver. I'll be at the Denver Comedy Works uh, downtown. Check me out. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, we're huge in Denver. The crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Denver's crazy. Yeah, well. yeah. 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 yeah, I'm sure. I was about to say. Crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. smoking weed, listening right yeah. now. Yeah. Right now, yeah. the, uh, crazy in Denver. No, but the uh, so back in the day, it was like, how did you get people to come to the show? You right. know, you would do morning radio in that town. Uh, they would uh, they would have an email blast, yep. right. and they would have like uh, you know they would have like you know maybe a phone bank, mm -hmm. right. you know, and right. that's how you got people to come to the show. Yep. But that right. relied on the club itself, so the club itself would be a part of the marketing. Right. Those Denver days was delivering you to the, to the those Paris days life. are done. Right. They now go, well, is, what's his following? Right. On social media. Yeah. Like, like you know, uh, can you post? Can you? So yeah. I don't think that social media, ha I think it is what it is. It is a marketing tool. It's, yeah, that's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I agree. Absolutely. But that's what all that it is is a marketing tool. It's always shifting. Like, let's say right now, Twitter goes bye-bye. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's always shifting. But at the end of the day, it is a tool. Yeah. You know, yeah, but, but, but no matter what the tool is, like, you, you, I understand what you're saying. I only disagree in this way that nothing, none of it's changed. It's all the same. Uh, f go to Friendster. It was us posting pictures. Right. Then it was MySpace. We were posting right. pictures and liking things. Yep, right. uh, then it was uh, Facebook. 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 Yep. None of these things are different. But they're right. not different they're at just all. Improved versions. Yeah, yeah. They're just like yeah. I, oh, I agree. I mean, you look at MySpace yeah. versus Facebook. But you know where <laughs> the sh biggest shift was with Vine versus everything? It created this cult like following for each individual like yeah there were some people maybe popping on myspace or facebook or friends so i wasn't on it back then so i can't fully right. speak people on it still popping on facebook there's no more money right. yeah. but be more money on facebook than any of these facebook, other platforms no, I, I agree. as it's facebook. shaken out over time facebook's become at least the way i see it facebook's like the people you grew up with that are fucking old it's, it's, it's a little mature it's, it's more yeah. mature it's, it's more your mature. family it's a way, to keep, it's a way hold for your on. family to keep that's how facebook. that's how us old fucks yes, look at yeah, it but i'm saying <laughs> but that's not dude sexiness bro no because where you are and yeah yeah i don't know you ain't sexy on facebook yeah yeah. <laughs> no, but there are people who are still there are people who are still blowing up on Facebook, man. I agree. I believe, you know? I believe that people have like you know a ton of fans on there. But remember, but. Charlie bit me, YouTube, and all these things. Yeah. Th those are the things I'm saying. Like those kinds oh, of Charlie right. bit. I'm just saying yeah. those kinds right. of things have always happened. Like you know, right. like at first it was YouTube. Like, it's not new to do short form videos. Right? Yeah, no, you not, know, like, not new uh, at like you know, it's like minute long videos have been on YouTube for yeah. since the beginning. Somebody came yeah, out YouTube's and said, "Hey, been let's make that there. an app, right?" There. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Is none of this shit is new it's right. always going to be around and it's like it, it is evolving in mm -hmm. terms of like you know what, what's changed is like uh, how they're using it and what and the reason why people don't necessarily blow up the way they did before is because these companies that provide this thing they're saying hey wait a minute you're you're reaching 100 million people nah we don't want you to reach 100 million people anymore like Facebook is like, nah, you, you, yeah, so you might have, like, you have four million followers, right? Yeah, they gauge it. You, you yeah. Don't, yeah, they, they don't do. allow you to have, especially yeah, with do. how long. I've been on Instagram that for shit's nine ridiculous. years now. Nine yeah. years. What I'm so saying wait, is, they gauge what? what do you mean? They, they gauge it as in, like, you can't reach the amount of followers you have unless you pay Bullshit. for it. Yeah, exactly. And on, on, right, there's, been, there's been no, but new, actually paying for it. Like, if I have a came out and says, you want to promote this post. Yeah. You, That's it's, what I'm saying. It's you like that, but you can also get to other people. Of course, it doesn't add up. You yeah. look at a picture, you go, I have like almost 20,000 followers. I look at like a post I put up and it'll be like seen by 4,000 people mm -hmm. seen by five. But that's yeah, how you know what the engagement is. And the engagement is usually, you know, one, what is it like one to 10%? I was going to say 10%. Yeah. Right? yeah something a little, exactly. I think what it's less. Yeah. How did yeah. that even work? I thought like, likes were like 3% or 4%. That's and what I'm, it's I'm saying. Thing. It's in that range. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. in that range. You can tell because you can look at somebody. Guess, yeah, obviously, you know, not everybody sees everything, but yeah. they are aggregating. Who sees who it? Sees who what? doesn't? And yeah, that's really. why people aren't blowing up the way they did ten they years ago. To, yeah. Right. Because, but I, but look, look, devil's advocate. If I'm a company, if I'm Facebook, and I go, I'm providing you with a billion a people, free, yeah, a billion, a billion people. where you yeah. could make yeah. money too. Yeah, I, I should make some money on yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. So I, I get tax that. You the way I want to tax you. I, right, I get exactly. that, but at the same time, it's like, man, I mean, you're like, it's like you're not reaching your fans. Like these people are following you because they go, mm -hmm. I like Matt. 
Yeah, there's right. four. There's four point eight million people out there who are like, I like me some Matthew Espinosa. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? I want to see what he's got going on. Yeah. Right. And then, and then it just does doesn't come up. They don't even realize <laughs> it. How does that right. fuck do they even feel? Four point eight million people follow you, dude. It's it's really weird. I'm gonna just be honest. Like like I, ever and he since said New I was Year's like, Eve alone. What's up? He was alone on New Year's Eve. Me? I'm kidding. I'm joking. Oh, I was like, I was like, no, I was. I was, like, I was with some friends, dude. I was having a rage right now. My ego just got so fragile for a second. He was like, I'm like, who told you? Bro, bro, bro. He's got 4.8 million followers. He what's that like? I go, he was alone on New Year's Eve. The comedian looks at me and goes, Come on. <laughs> you tried. You no, tried. Good work. <laughs> you will not be joining me in dead you know? Well, the thing is, is, the numbers really didn't hit me until it became a face-to-face thing. I remember, man, it was sometime in September. I was a sophomore in high school, and I had a little meetup at this nearby mall. And I thought maybe 40, 50 people were going to show up, right? And I probably had 200K, 300K on Vine at that point. Yeah. And I'm like on my way to the, you know, to the mall thinking like, man, I hope I don't look like a dummy right now. You know, I don't want to look like some douche, right? So I get tweets from all these people that are already there like, Matthew, where are you? The police are here. I'm like, what is going on? My parents were already there because they wanted to see it too. So they're calling me like, Matthew, where are you? Things are going crazy right now. That's the SWAT nuts. team showed up. There was a thousand people that showed up to the mall. My friends from high school showed up just to either clown me or be proud of me. They were ready for either. I was ready for ha! either. They had two yeah. different t-shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, oh, it's like, it's like the, the it's like the Super Bowl yeah. champion, yeah. or it's like the other. You know? And and right then and there, I remember I was on the second floor. I'm going on an escalator down to the place where I said I was going to meet everyone. And as I'm there, I just see this wave of hundreds of people start coming to the bottom of the escalator and I felt like that was the longest escalator ride in my life. Wow. I'm going down there and with this the security is while you're guard. In high school. This is when That's I'm a sophomore crazy. in high school. This was I was in school earlier that morning. Is that the moment you were going down the el- escalator and you were looking at all the girls like I'm about to get it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just what is the average age of the girl? Oh, the average down the, the average escalator. age was probably around um, like 14, 15, but I was okay. like 15 at right, that time right, too. Right, so right. it made it, it made was sense. okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> But I just oh, remember, man. Did you come like, down the escalator like this? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, my feet weren't touching the escalator. I was just floating down. Now I'm just like levitating. Oh, yeah, but no, that was when I really realized. I was like, okay, this is real. This is a legitimate thing. Then Fox News ended up, you know going to to interview me because they they had heard a shooting had happened at the mall but it was right. a video shoot that i had right. said i'm shooting a video so <laughs> word got around that so that's why the swat team showed up there's this huge dude with all these m16s and all this stuff they're like matthew right. espasasa isn't here <laughs> them getting my name na- i'm like what and they're like get out of here kid they're like taking me away and i have this whole wave of people like following me as i'm like feeling oh, like i'm getting arrested into a rally free matthew yeah, yeah. <laughs> they literally put me in this side room in this little hallway in the in the mall Looked and like then every the shop Lifters. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, Matthew, Matthew. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But well, you know, and I've told this story before, but I I have to, you know. You got to, man. So for, so I met, I actually met Matthew. I was going to say, how did you guys even Okay, I'll tell you. No, yeah, I was the mall security. I used to be a SWAT, you know. <laughs> no, no, I'd be the mall. For sure, I'd be the mall security. I'd be the guy going like, I'm in charge here. And they're like, move out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first time I actually met Matthew was at a Bieber party. You know, I was at it. It was Justin Bieber's 21st birthday party. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, he was a fan of Workaholics. So one of his handlers, John, was like, he hits me. I knew him. He hit me up. He goes, yo, man, can you come to this party? It'll be great. And I remember I'm sitting on the couch and he's telling Bieber, like, look who's on the couch, you know? And I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but he's a sweet kid. You know, he was like, yeah, thanks for no, coming. He, yeah, nice yeah, kid. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, really, really, cool. really, really yeah. nice kid. So and then all these social media people were here because he actually put the, he put the stamp of approval for all, all these guys too, though, mm-hmm. yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Yeah. Like if he, if he, Bieber was like, "Hey, this guy's funny," and then you're talking about that guy's got a hundred yeah. million followers. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And so they're like, oh, "Okay, I want to check this guy out too." So then I met, I met him, and then we just kept in contact. Cause it was always about that same thing too. You were like, "Hey, let's do some videos." You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right. Uh, but then I invited him to a basketball game. So I had Clipper season tickets at the time. It was me right. and Adam Devine. All right. Okay. Me and buddy Adam. Nice. So we had season tickets, yep. and like, okay, so here's the thing: when we're at the game. It's pretty. It's pretty like, oh shit, welcome yeah. all age, what's yeah. up? Yeah. And he was way more famous too because he was also on Modern Family. So right. you had different people going like, right. oh my god, Modern Family. So it was, we were always getting like, hey, let's take pictures. Yeah, yeah, but it right. was cool. It was chill still, right? Yeah. I bring him to the game. All right, we're sitting there. Then the usher comes down. 
she goes, hi, hey, can he go upstairs? Because there's a hundred girls up here that want to take pictures with him. And that was the moment I knew I wasn't famous. Is <laughs> <laughs> that really true? Yes. That's, that's, uh, just think about this. All these girls who were just with their dad, obviously, right. you know, watching basketball are, are on the news feed of like whatever. He's posting at the Clipper game. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, the word gets out and they're just like, we got to find him. You know what I mean? But you know what? It's not it's crazy. He, girls. he dates girls that, uh, I mean, I guess it's cool to talk about. Yeah, right? He fine. likes to date women that are substantially yeah, yeah, older yeah. than him. So, okay, I don't, Pimpin'. I don't go out to like, substantially. Yeah, why, why the word yeah, substantially? Yeah, I'm with you 100%. <laughs> every chick I've really? seen him with. No, 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 every, no. Yes. He'll go out with a 40 yeah, year old. Stuff, you would. Uh, you would. Like, okay, I would. Okay. And again, you're only what, 22, 23? 24? How old are you? When I met you? No, now. Oh, now I just turned 24. Yeah, right, exactly. 24. But you, you, but he's he. It's age appropriate now. Oh yeah, he's not right. Now. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like I don't. But it wasn't I don't meet this. a girl and I'm like, you're really cool. Are you at least five years older yeah, than me? Of so, so that we can date. You know, I, I just gravitate towards more mature. Right to yeah. more mature. Because he's because he's, he's, he's a he's an old soul, years. man. Exactly. Dude's like 57. There with an older woman. She wasn't older. She's like you know. At the time, twenty something model. Chick, yeah, I was super, eighteen. She was like cool twenty four, twenty five. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's super cool. Damn. No, that's but a lot. Just, <laughs> For wait, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. We can't just gloss over that, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not just glossing over that. Yeah. eighteen and twenty four. That's a huge yeah, age yeah. difference. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. huge. At, in that age range, yeah, that's, that's huge. huge. Yeah. Yeah. That's but she's huge. also you gotta understand. She's like tall. She's like. Oh, I think I know who he's talking about. She's somebody you picture when you say come be. My boyfriend, I'm like, oh, it's probably dating yeah. some 35 year old dude. Right, 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 right. And the kid comes out, he's like 18. A, a dude like you would age. walk out and be yeah. like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was like, it. and I was like, holy shit, that's a boyfriend. He's like, and I'm like, you know, and he's super, super young. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I don't know what the fuck I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like, an interesting but time. I think, like, to you're say 24, the least. and, you know, the last girl was around 30. I think that's like in the range. I think when you hit 40. It's mm -hmm. definitely a thing, meaning like that's like your thing. You're mm -hmm. drawn to more sophisticated older yeah, women. Yeah. For sure. I mean, even yeah. my current girlfriend now, she's around four and a half years older than me. Right. So, and that just is the way it was. I didn't plan so anything. So she's like renting that. the cars. Or... Mm -hmm. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> actually, yes. Technically, yes. I can't rent a car. You can't rent a car yet. Yeah. You had me on that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Everything true. else, though, I can do. The one time, <laughs> the one I can't think of anything else. Like, but, but yeah. So, so where did the idea then come? Obviously, you were you were hanging out with him. You're seeing like, oh shit, he has a huge fan base. Where did the idea then come for you guys to get together to do a podcast? Well, we had always been talking about trying to do something, mm -hmm. you know, because I've been a huge supporter. I love his family too. He's got a really great family. Like this, it this sounds like, it. like this is not a surprise. Mom, about, dad, his brothers, you. his brothers, his manager. It's that right. kind of family. You oh, know what I mean? Cool. It's very much like a partridge family yeah. type thing. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, so it's like, you know, so I really uh, I, I love that about this. So just being around a guy is, is great. And then we've always had a good rapport. Like, I remember I went to his movie premiere and we had these great pictures together on the red carpet. And you just see them and you go, Chemistry, oh, those right. guys yeah, look yeah, like they, yeah, yeah. you know. And so it was Matt that hit me up about, hey, I want to finally do a podcast, mm -hmm. you know. And then I was like, I'm down. Like, I did, yeah, he, he, yeah, he was like, don't even finish. Yeah, I'm yeah, down. yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear the pitch because he's yeah. always pitching. You know what I mean? That was the opposite. Even if he goes to McDonald's, He's like, okay, let me tell you how we're going to do this. Uh, <laughs> I want some fries. Yeah. She wants some, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, when he told it to me, I was like, oh, that sounds really cool, man. You know, so you're doing two at once, though. Or did you imagine? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm still doing my own solo. It's just, it is how what many, it is. I got a small. How do you think one person could do in a week? You do know. You think, uh, do you think you could have six different pods? That's, that's a lot. Have, that's like, a lot. Shows yeah, it's a lot. Does. But a lot of people, you know you know what, though? It just it just depends on. It's like the Diplo of podcasts. He just has a bunch of different groups, you know, that he just makes music for. Yeah. Like, wow! Oh, do they all work so because they can't yeah. be the same type of podcast. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So it's like a lot of these guys have like, I have a therapy podcast. Right. I have a cooking podcast. Right. I have a. At what point you know, in the podcast do you have to really know what your podcast is? At what point should you know? What type of Probably podcast? right away. Yeah, I, would, yeah, yeah. I would hope because you have a direction. The only you need a direction. shit that's been cray on our podcast is <laughs> the three of us, yeah, yeah. and it's been going for like ten weeks of trying to figure it out. No, but you guys got it. But that's the thing. It's like so. Like our podcast, what I enjoy about it is we do stay on point. 
because it's called gen to gen. So it's my generation, his generation, right. just like older, younger, sharing and learning from each other. Right. So that's easy to like when we're in the pocket, then we know what we're about to talk about. Wh whoever our guest is, if we have an older guest on, then it's like me and this guy rapping about this and him asking questions yeah, like, right. how'd you guys do that? What's a what's a you know dial up? You know, what's dial up? You know what I mean? <laughs> what's <laughs> a know? beeper? Yeah, what's that, a beeper? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. So then we can just talk about the differences, but it's like very much, it's very it's, much it's like very appropriate though. But I there's mean, a lot of for us our age range to learn from yeah. these younger guys because and then without being like crotchety about it, you right. know? Of course, yeah. of course. Without, of course, without the right. get off my lawn attitude. Because right. that's what separates, because it's just it's so fluid. It just it I've always, changes. I've always had friends of different ages. I mean, it's crazy, but I think like just even the three of us were all like ten years apart. You yeah, know? yeah, now yeah. I'm the oldest. He's middle. He's the young. I don't even know how old are you. I'm fifty four. Oh, you're just a little bit older than me. Forty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty four. I still right, got yeah. hair and shit on my yeah. head. I have no hair. Like, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry. So we're, we're all like, we're, we yeah. kind of like, you know, we have like that anyway. But I, but I totally agree with that. I think even if looking at it from the perspective of how much social change we've gone through yeah. in the last decade. And you talk about dating, like when we were younger versus dating now, dude, and etiquette, and what can you dude, do? Our age, what is the appropriate way to behave? You know mm -hmm. what the thing is about our generation is that I always say we were the guinea pigs. We were the guinea pigs of all this new stuff we had the first of all that. We had the first cell phones. We had the first computers. Right. Yeah. We saw the first, like, you know, uh, d d downloading of uh, music. And we had right. Audio yes. Galaxy and right. Napster. Yeah. We had the first, right. like, you know, we went from, like, even in the entertainment business, we went from black and white headshots to color headshots. Right. We went from taking, you know, pictures and cameras to, we like, everything's VHS digital. We went to from digital. To digital. Yeah. We went from having magazines to, like, you know. Right. So, like, we, what we see is, like, so, like, it's hard sometimes for us because we have one foot in this old way, and it's like it's like, well, this is how we did it, and then this these new these kids they, they don't even under they, they don't even think about it in that way. They don't even know how to inter communicate with people. Right. It's everything's texting and everything's all this stuff. We had to call people on the phone. Yeah, we had to argue mm -hmm. with our brothers and sisters to be like, yeah. I'm on the phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. and we, Mom, get off the phone. I'm yeah. on the other line. Uh, <laughs> we had nine seven no, six numbers. You know, years yeah. ago with Andrew Dice Clay, I'm sure you. Uh, I know Andrew, dice, yeah. like, it was really funny man like I'll say it's like 10 years ago 12 years ago I was going through a divorce and I get this call like hey Andrew Dice Clay wants to call you right I'm like all right cool and he'd been on entourage I'd met him like a bunch of times but like super loose Johnny's you know? bananas yeah, I mean, yeah exactly yeah, right yeah, yeah. so he's like he calls me up right and it's like small talk bullshit and this and that yada 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 and I'm like you know so what up he's like look I want, I want to make my case for why I should be on boardwalk empire and I'm like, shoot, you know? And he tells me this whole thing, like, you know, I grew up here, I knew this one, I knew that one, this is the way it's that. I was like, yo, that's awesome, bro. I think you should be on the show. I, I have nothing to do with Boardwalk Empire. So he's like, <laughs> he's like what are you talking about? I thought you produce it. Yeah. I, go, yeah. I go, nah, that's the other Jew, that's Steve Levinson. I go, I got nothing to do with it, right? He's like, you'll be fucking kidding, right? So we start bullshitting. And like I said, I was going through this divorce. I said, man, it's just fucking, he's like asking me what's going on in my life. And I say it's crazy because of the differences that I, I was seeing after a nine-year relationship. And I'm like, when we grew up, it was you would call a girl's house. The parents would answer the phone. At this time, everything was like some Facebook messenger conversation. Yeah. Yeah. This is even pre-Instagram. So this yeah, is before yeah, yeah, that's yeah. popping up, but it's all social. And I'm like, you could really tell a lot about a girl from the pictures you're seeing what the lifestyle's like, if they're partiers, you know. And he was like, slow down, slow down. And like our conversation was obviously a little more reverent and he just took all the shit and he used it in his stand-up. No. <laughs> all the shit about the waxing, wow. everything. And he would hit me up from places. He'd be like, we just killed him in Idaho. <laughs> 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 it's so awesome. That's and then the best epic. is, he gets back from the thing. And I was at the time, I was at Gold's Gym and I see him walking up the stairs and I go, yo, Dice. And he turns around and he looks at me and goes, how you doing? And he keeps going. I go, yo, it's Rob Weiss. And he's like, he looks at me, he's like, oh, I go, what'd you think? I was a fucking fan? <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> no, I like that. He's cool as fuck. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a so shit. Party. He's so but, dope. But the changes are crazy. It is mm -hmm. crazy, man. You know? it's like and you, but, but the welcome, a lot of the changes I think are amazing, you know, in terms of the power dynamics, right, yeah. of the world. And, you know, I'm not like a social justice warrior, but I support it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I support the kind of evolution and change. And, and it's interesting, as a father of a five-year-old, 
to see the kind of world he's going to grow up in. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, totally amazing. I mean, even if you think about, even in terms of, like, race relations and things like that, I mean, you know, you, if you think about, like, a, a person that is, like, you're 24. Yes. Okay, so he's 24. So he grew up as a kid, there was a black president. Right. Like, yes. as a kid. As right. A kid. As a kid. So it's like, so if you're a kid, if you're eight, and you, there's a black president, and then you have everybody around you, you hear about race stuff, and you're like, wait, yeah, there's a black president. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. no idea about like how fast race relations are moving and how right. it's how it, unfortunately it stays right. the same in some areas. Yeah, that's you know, right. it's like you know, it's like when you look at like these like that ESPN documentary about OJ. It was so interesting to see like 50s, 60s about the police brutality. Right, uh, that was happening then. And then it's a thing that's happening still today. Right. So there's things like that that you just go like, you know, like where are we the, still the same? Where yeah. have we advanced? And then there's other areas where you have to ask yourself, like, what do you want kids now to, to think about? Do we want them always to be aware of race differences? Or do we want them just to be like, just live and everybody's the same? It, it's so hard because older people are like, well, I remember how it was, you know? Yeah. It's really hard, right? You know, hard. you know, it's so hard. You know, my I'm, but as a person of color too. It's supposed to like advance it and do better. But it's hard to advance when there's so much information. Like yeah. right. that's the well, difference that's, now. That's the big problem. Yeah, there's just so the, much. We're inundated. So we could talk about mm. the positives of it, but information the, the fucking the bots and the trolls and the fucking. Yeah. Information I mean, it's and just the it's the whole fake world. Info, the fake news that yeah. constantly yeah. is yeah. hitting you in the face. And what the fuck do I? Believe? Yeah, we don't even know what to believe anymore. And that's the, 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 there was a great documentary on Netflix about this. You know, the guy that was talking about, you know, how so, so what social media is doing to society. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah amazing what was it called? The social... Uh, social dilemma. Social, social dilemma. dilemma. I mean, the right. thing is, is that I think there should be more ways to, for lack of better terms, either regulate it or set some form of rules. Because at the end of the day, when you see a post about COVID, for instance, at the bottom it says, this post could be misinformed about COVID. And it, right. it says, says, take you to then this link to tell you. So how come if someone posts something racist, sexist, misogyni misogynistic, how come it doesn't say... Hey, this post, how come right. the AI of Instagram, of right. Facebook, Twitter doesn't, doesn't say, it. hey, this post is sexist, yeah. racist, misogynistic. Are you sure you want to view this? If you want to view it anyways, here's information on how to not be a racist, right. how right. to not be a, yeah. just like how they're doing it for COVID, because they can do it. I think it should right. go even before that. I think it should. Yeah, no, they have warnings. No, I'm saying, I, I don't think it should go like, I don't think it should go, don't view this. I think it should say, do you want to post this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is more important. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I say some See, stuff and they go, you know, this is this feel this feels kind of racist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's crazy because I can post, I can post a picture of my wife breastfeeding our kid and my shit get flagged and then I get a, a message saying I gotta take it down. Mm -hmm. right. But just I can stroll and see somebody's butthole. You right. know what I mean? On another another post, and it has a hundred thousand views mm -hmm. and likes, and, right. and, and it's still up. Yeah. Right. So I don't even get that shit. Well, that right. might be a comment on your wife's titties, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it may be more about that. Why, I mean, why did you feel the need to share that? I don't you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean, no offense to you. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> Yeah, and whose buttholes up? Yeah, there? yeah. Where's the butthole? I ain't seen and, no butthole. And did you take the butthole and then look at your wife's titties and be like, well, I kind of get it. How'd the, the butthole look? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, when you're watching on, on TV, it's there's a parental control, you right. know, thing yeah. to do that. On Netflix now, there's and Hulu and all these different things. So, and I talked yeah. about this with you. Why isn't there a rule book of, like, teaching your kids, hey, this could be wrong, this could be wrong, this could also be right, right. This, you know, or are we just throwing them into right. the lines then saying, have fun. Yeah. Whatever you see is whatever you get. For me, yeah. I'm the youngest of four. It's so I was growing man. up listening confusing. to Kanye West on yeah. my way to second grade. Right. So still in my mind, I know which words I'm allowed to repeat and which words I'm not allowed to repeat right. because my parents told me, yes, we're allowing you to listen to this because you're downloading all the music from the same right. computer as my, as your brothers and sisters. Yeah. But know what you can say and what you can't. Of and because of that Yo, freedom, that it allowed me with to. Too, with my five-year-old. Mm -hmm. I mean, that freedom. He heard, some, he heard some shit in a DMX song and he was saying something and I, What'd you say? What? Because they're gonna mirror oh, regardless. Kid, kid they're walking around. Stop! 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 Stop!
freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. I mean, I've heard the quote, uh, strict parents he create he sneaky no, kids. No, no, yeah. He's five you know, fucking right, years right. old. You know? Yeah. No, but I've heard the quote, strict but, parents create sneaky kids. So you just got to give this kid the freedom while giving them the tools and understanding exactly of like, understand. hey, Correct. you can't say this. Treat other people with kindness. Treat them how you want to be treated. Yeah. But we're going to give you this freedom. We're going to trust that you can Make watch right this decision. and listen Correct. to this. Like I was watching It's not about what they – but it's – no, you hit it the nail on the head which was you can listen to it but it's an understanding of what you're mm -hmm. hearing what you can what repeat. is a time and place what does something yeah. mean mm -hmm. right but yeah. you don't know until you cross those bridges yeah. right yeah. until you yeah. get to those places i agree with you though you don't want to deny your kid anything and create somebody who's sneaky like don't deny your kid candy because then he'll overdose on candy as he gets older but i agree with you mm -hmm. so i think it is like a, a little bit of like you know Extending a little bit of rope and license for mm -hmm. them to explore. Well, I mean, this is also like be a parent. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, that's the right. thing, too. It's like, yeah. just be a parent. Yeah. yeah. You know, It'll it's like, present, it's like right. I remember I used to work at a, I used to work at a school. I was a basketball coach, too, you know. I remember I had this parent, you know, the parent would come up and say to me, I'll never forget this. He was like, Coach, what are we going to do about his grades this year? <laughs> And I, was like, I was like, we? we. Yeah. I like, Am I at the family dinners no, too? But I, was like, but I was like, you have six teachers, a guidance counselor, you. How about I work on free throws and layups from, from three to five? And then you handle everything else. You know what I mean? And, and, then, and then that same lazy parent, you know, right. so then like the, I remember this, poor cards come out. You know, report cards come out, and like we're about the kids are it's the league opener. Kids are in layup line, and this mom comes out. Uh uh, he got bad grades. She's in front of the whole gym and everything. She's, right. He he's off the team. You know that's not gonna happen on my oh, watch. She went the humiliation. Yeah, time she's like it's not gonna happen on my watch. Yeah. Apparently, you ain't watching shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? What are you What are you watching? Because he got bad grades. So what's been happening? Like this idea, like I hate that. I used to hate that. Like yeah. you know, you taking the kid off. To, what responsibility are you teaching him? You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. so, I was. I remember saying this today. I was like, okay, yeah. so you go take him off the team. But does, does he still have a cell phone? Does he have a TV in his room? Is yeah. he playing video games? Just How about you take right? away yeah. all that shit? Yeah. And then we'll work out our punishment, but right. he should, he's letting down his teammates. Right. But you know why they don't do all that? Because if they take if they take away the phone, they got to deal with it. More they got to deal with it. They got to be a parent. Do you have kids, true. Eric? You don't, Eric. You That's got true. kids? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I've no. worked with, yeah. you know what I mean? I get it, I get it, I get it. But yeah, yeah. I know, no. this is, I get it no, because no, no, I was no. seeing I mean, all I'm, this. I'm fucking, I mean, I, you know, I'm already hearing from my son. Like, I, I don't, he's only in kindergarten. He's like, I don't want to deal with homework. I don't like oh, homework. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, listen, it's it's something you have to do. You, might, you know, it's going to help you get everything down the road in yeah. your life by teaching you how to do the work. And you can't always, you know, do everything you enjoy and not do things that are, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they say you know, that, I mean, they should put, enjoy it. Hopefully, you know, be right, stuff, right before you about to like, you know, conceive a little like COVID warning should come up, you know, like, do yeah. you want to be a parent? I'm yeah. not sure yeah. if you are equipped. You know yeah. what I mean? No, it's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's a lot of work. And I think, you yeah. know, I think unfortunately, like, you know, not everybody has the kind of, um, you know, advantage of, having like be entirely free of stress in their yeah. own lives mm -hmm. where they could just uh, put, uh, turn all their attention to their kid. Yeah, it's tough. So a lot of these families that are coming into a gym could be single working moms, yep. could be like, you know, families that are having other issues. And then it's like the kid doesn't want to do the work. Dude, He's I think, easily I think distracted. Back to when, it's a fucking headache, I man. think about when we were kids. Yeah. I always think about this, like, we didn't have the internet, none of this stuff. I, I think to myself. I still didn't do my work, though. I no, I'm saying. I was a D no, 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 minus no, no, but I'm saying, student. if I would have had the, the internet, in the I could. I would have been a monster. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're saying you would have done better or done more? No, I would have. I'm saying I would have been a monster. I don't know how I would have, like, like the, the access you have to things. and like. But it might have made us, it might have made me a better student because I'd be learning, learning, like, just encyclopedias, man. I know, but like. We had to go to the library. No, you had to open your encyclopedia. Yeah, Britannica, Britannia. Only person in our whole family that had a full set of encyclopedias. Yeah, we had to like that really. What do you mean? They show up at they would show up at your doors and try to sell them back in the day. Yeah, People are just like everywhere. They'd be like, "Oh, you need those yeah, encyclopedias." Yeah, somebody knock on your yeah. door now. You you gonna call the police? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine somebody just showing up yeah, at your place? Yeah, like, yeah, like who? Like, like listen, crazy, right? I don't even like when people just yeah. call me without checking in first. Yeah. No, the door. You know the, I mean? Yeah, I called him yo, yesterday to just see how you're doing. He's like, why are you calling? You yeah. did not. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. All I'm saying is, 
Check in. Check in. Yeah, the, appear- the appearance at the door is shady, <laughs> man. Yeah, don't it's don't a little. We're, not, we're, not, yeah. we're no longer in the days even, of listen, just I don't appearing. even like when somebody sends like a two paragraph text. <laughs> oh, I hate that shit. Like, 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 oh, no, off the, I, I off the jump. You just send two paragraphs of text off the jump. Yeah, but and then I write back something like, okay, that, like, that's, that's all you have to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to be in this conversation. Yeah. Oh, that's somebody who's mad at you. That's a girl That's a girl who's confused. With somebody who's mad. No, but check in. Hey, can you talk right now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> then send me the two paragraphs. I don't even want two paragraphs. Just like ask, say, yo, I got to talk to you. Can I call you? Like, I'm talking about know. just in conversation with somebody. Like, I'll never do. I, I don't like oh, yeah, that. Maybe. Like, and, sure and, and even if it was like this. And then they write back that, and then I write back this, and then they write back. Then I'm like, yo, it's got to go to call, man. Like, yeah, it's just yeah knock, at that point, know? we're like trying to match each other yeah, on yeah, how yeah. much. Yeah, it's just like, but, it's too much. But, unless, but, unless but, you wanted but. his evidence. That's, yeah. that's it. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. But like, when you're arguing with your chick, like, yeah. I think texting is good. Because right. you can go back to, oh, let's go back to the court yeah, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Can we read back to the court minutes Bro, here? you know what that, yeah. and you know what that does? Paragraph six, take four. You said. how does that, Eric, Eric. How does that work out for you? How does that perpetuation of going into yeah. the minutia? Because yeah. at that point, usually when it goes to like, you didn't say that, yeah. I'll tell you what you, you said. Say yeah. If yeah. we're really yeah. focusing on what you said, when I get to that point in the thing, I'm usually so fucking checked it's, out. You're my already heart done. It's yeah. like a 140. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, man? You're right. I suck. Let's just fucking move past it. <laughs> and I'll try to do better in the future, you know? But listen, Look, something, like, something like catfishing was invented because people are so stupid. Yeah. I like, was catfished. What do you mean? I, I we, got, I got, I got fucking catfished. catfished. Dude, it was epic, man. I, I got, got catfished catfish for a weekend. I got catfished for two days. I think I've been catfished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. You well, we're old crazy? school. We all want to hold know it's so crazy? If, you, if you're over 40, you've been catfished. <laughs> I, <laughs> did, I dated a girl. Tell your story. I de- I'll, but, I, but even before this happened to me, I had dated a girl, successful model, actress. When I first started dating her, she was like, there's something you should know about me. There's all these new, like news reports online about me. Somebody had basically impersonated her. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a guy with a high voice impersonated oh. her. And she was like a successful, like, you know, guest model, lingerie model and stuff. <clears throat> and he was bilking guys. And at the time, she was only the real person, was only like 19 years old. This impersonator would call guys and be like, yeah, I really want to see you, Joe. I'm stuck in the Bahamas. Can you send me money? Another guy sent the, her a dog. And if, if it basically came up because she was with her family leaving a restaurant. Somebody came up and was like, hi, so-and-so, it's me. And she's like, I don't know you. He's like, I sent you that money. And then all of a sudden, these pieces start to come together. They find this guy. I forgot where he was living, but he got arrested and did like three years in jail. Wow. Only a guy. So she yeah. tells me I'm this. saying only a guy would think a beautiful 19-year-old. Yeah on the internet is in love with them. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sad, man, but they're like, basically, it's, it's not basically, sad. It's not sad. it was it's hundreds. It's pathetic. Yeah. Well, it's sad fucking pathetic. Yeah. pathetic. Right. So basically, so this is, so this is like, she tells me, I'm like, holy shit. Then she shows me the doc, Catfish, and I'm like, wow, this shit happens. Cut to years later, my dad was like dying of cancer. He just had this like brain tumor out. I don't even know how this happens, but at the time, I think I was on like Twitter and Facebook. Somebody followed me on Twitter and I'm like, I recognize the name. And I'm like, why do I know that person? I realized it was somebody who, or, like I was already, that was already a friend of mine on Facebook. And this person had been a friend of mine on Facebook for a bunch of years, super cute girl. It was like, goes to Columbia Med, but I never like spoke to her, never really engaged, but she was just there. It was like a friend request you accept. So I follow her back on Twitter, and I can't even remember the name. But even began, when the yeah. whole thing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when the whole thing unravels, oh, I love you too. Start to even think about the name. Yeah. Didn't just like, get, oh, just bro, admit it, motherfucker. Bro. You know what's funny about this? Bro, I, I love, love you, baby. baby. He's trying to ease into it. You know, yeah, yeah. you know, no, I didn't really know her, and you know, and I, I recognize the name. <laughs> no, your dumbass, <laughs> your dumbass thought you got a hot chick, yeah. and you thought you was gonna get some. I always listen. Admit that shit. Own it. I will. In my defense, in my defense, we had a, no, we had a all the women I right date, now. all the women I date are beautiful motherfuckers. Ah, let's here just, we go. So let's, let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. But, but, here's the thing. No, I'm super casual, man. Listen, I'm like, every, this is going back 10 years ago. I'm like, everybody's like, hey, baby, hey, baby, baby, you know. 
conversation, conversation, conversation. At first, it's nothing. So I just follow the girl back <laughs> on Twitter, and I get a, oh, hey, Rob. And I go like, oh, hey, you're like the cute girl who goes to Columbia. You're on my Facebook. And she's like, yes, I am. Chat, 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 chat. Talk, talk, talk. I'm like, uh, I got to go to the hospital. My dad just got a brain tumor removed. He's got like water on the brain or he's got something called hydrocephalus she's like yeah water on the brain blah 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 and i'm like oh yeah you're in med school she's like in the conversation i'm on twitter i'm like just text me this is on a friday right so now we're texting all through friday mm-hmm. bullshit 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 when, Saturday. when did you go to western union no listen <laughs> it's not a money thing bro bro it's worse bro it's worse than money <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, he had to wait till Monday. Yo, yo, she much, needs this thirty five hundred dollars. Bro, it's so much potentially worse than money. Okay. It's literally worse than somebody trying to get money out of me because the person didn't ask me for anything. By Saturday, I'm at some party. She's texting me, and I'm like, I'll just call you. I'll drive back from some party at like midnight. I talked to this girl on the phone for like three hours. The story sounds, oh, my parents are in real estate. My dad's got a fund. Wow. We originally lived in like D.C., like all this shit. And I'm like super smart, you know, cute. Cool, cool, cool. By Sunday, she's like, and I'm like, me and my friend are starting to write the script. She goes, come write it in New York. Come to New York. My parents have this townhouse. Oh, my God. You, checks out. You, It's empty right now. You and your friend could stay in the townhouse. What? Right? Me and my boy, Steve, you want to go to New York and write this thing in New York? He's like, yeah. This is like, my dad is like sick. I'm just like, at this point, you just like want to fucking run uh-huh. and get away for a couple weeks, a month a or whatever. Movie. And she's like, yes, calm, blah, 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 blah. Monday, my assistant's literally working on plans for me to go to New York. Dude, fucking see a girl. I don't even think they had FaceTime back then. This is like 10 years ago. So we weren't FaceTiming. And she's sending pictures, and even though she sends pictures, I'm like, oh, she's really cute in this one. I'm like, God, she looks like a little unlike that one, but I guess it's just an angle or a light. Oh! Right? Like, no, they didn't look like fully, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, so Monday, I'm literally thinking I'm going to go to fucking New York, right in New York for a couple of weeks, hang out at this girl's like empty townhouse. An ex buddy of mine, a buddy of mine at the time, comes over, and he's like, I understand, who is this? I'm like, I don't know, it's some like random girl that I met on like Facebook, Twitter, you know, I'm she invited to New York, this and that. Nervous. He that's goes, your, that's your he goes like this. He goes, <laughs> yo, he, well, he's a sick, sick, shady motherfucker, this guy. Oh, so he recognized it. <laughs> shady, <laughs> see, shady, yo, he's, bro, he's the sickest. He's probably one of the sickest humans on the fucking planet. Right. We're not friends anymore, but he, he's a sick motherfucker, right? And if you're out there, motherfucker, you know you're sick. And you know I'm talking about you, sick motherfucker. Mm. So anyway, he goes, he's like, have her uh, send the picture, hold the sign that says, hi, Rob. And I go, holy shit, that's fucking logical. Yeah. yeah, you need proof of life. Yeah, yeah. present proof today's life. paper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, present so, today's newspaper. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so I go like this. I'm like, hey, baby. She's like, hey, baby. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, listen, oh, do me a favor. Take a picture. I hold the sign. It says, hi, Rob. She goes, yeah, of course. No problem. Uh-huh. I go, yeah. She said, of course. No problem. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So we're waiting, waiting. Text comes through. It says, yeah, I don't really want to take a picture right now. I call her, I go, who the <laughs> fuck <laughs> are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? The, phone, the phone's on the table. <laughs> me, this guy, oh my, my buddy who's going to go to New York with me, standing around. She's like, Rob, just take me up speaker. Trust me, there's an explanation for everything. And I'm oh, like, yo, who the fuck oh are you? God. What's true? What's not true? Where's the apartment I was going to stay at? She's like, it's 221, blah, 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 blah. This guy's got, the, the crazy guy, he's got access to a, a database. He had his computer with us at the what house because we were world? working on something. He f- types what? in, he goes, he goes that, that, that townhouse in New York is owned by an Asian screenwriter. He bought it like a year ago. And I go, your parents don't own that place. She's like, uh, okay, listen to me. And it was just like, pivot, pivot, pivot. I go, like, what are you, like some random like weirdo in a basement in Brooklyn who watches <laughs> Gossip Girl and has all this lingo? Like, like who the fuck are you so like it just turns into like it turns into like some super uncomfortable th- i'm like no. i shared my dad's you know illness with you I, you know what yeah. i mean like oh but like and i'm like but the idea to, I, I said to her, i go i go yo i go you had me coming to new york i go that's what the, the fuck yeah, i go what would have happened i would have got to the went, airport yeah. with my buddy and you would have been like look i have something to tell you i go who the what the fuck is this i basically i go listen homie check it out Lose my number. <laughs> never oh, call. Oh, oh, check it. I'm gonna lay it down for you real quick. Never oh, fucking it. call me again. Rob, Rob. Click. I wake up the next morning. I shit you not, man. I wish I, I wish I remember the name of the person because I look it up. It's probably still saving on the cloud. There is a text from her 
that says, I could not tell you this. Oh, yeah, like her dad's name with the font that didn't exist. Everything was live. We were looking up everything. She's like, I, I could not tell you this. My dad is XDA. We are hiding from so the cartels in New York. Bro, it up. I mean, she's still going? She's still it up. My dad was like hiding from the cartels. And I'm like, Oh my fucking oh lord! My like god. that's oh gonna be, wait, wait, wait! Like that's that. gonna make you go. Like that's gonna make you go. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, okay. we're on our way to New York. In that yeah. case, so yeah. In we'll that, you know what, man? The real reality is like I'm all, like I think, especially like a decade ago, I was far more trusting of a person than I am now. You know, I in certain ways I become more cynical, vulnerable, cynical, but more vulnerable because of the five year old son. I am yeah, like yeah, yeah. softer and sweeter, but I also really. Like, Yes, this but is I softer also, and sweeter. Yeah, <laughs> but I also recognize I have less time on the planet. I have less time yeah, yeah, on the planet yeah. now than I had ten years ago, and I want to spend my time with my five year old. Not your bullshit. Not you, but your yeah, bullshit. I feel you. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to fucking deal with that. So that's created that kind of level of a little bit of a barrier and a little bit of cynicism. But it is fucking epic that that Dude, fucking shit. Dude, can I tell you something? Let me, let me tell you something. <laughs> this kid showed up and just fucking squashed it in ninety seconds. But yeah. but that kind yeah, of thing is like when people are like, what is it like? Not habitual liars, but there's like a pathological, pathological, pathological liars. So they're sociopaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a similar thing like this, yeah. but it wasn't a catfish. It was like a buddy in mine. We he knew this guy. The dude was a psychopath. He was a just he lied about everything. Mm -hmm. All right, he just. Like his name he, Scott? No, oh, but no. it was like if he was like if he he you, if you were calling him and he would say like let's say he was at Jack in the Box, but he would still say, "Well, I'm at Taco Bell." Oh, he yeah. was that oh, kind of so liar. Strange. It's so, a lie that doesn't need to be a lie. Yeah. It's like yeah. if you're right. gonna lie to me, lie to me. Yeah. I saw yeah. this on a podcast. Yeah. King Batch was talking about this. He's like, "I don't need a little lie. Like, don't lie to me saying you're on the way. Just say yeah. you're at home getting ready still. Like, yeah. You're, yeah. like yeah. why even lie at that point? But yeah. this yeah. guy was such. I've told that lie. He was such. No, I got five minutes. But these liars. No, but, the, but these liars, though, sometimes they have the ones that are the worst when they have a little bit of truth. OK, right. so this guy, this guy, he was a musician. So he was on like the American Idol band. Like you could see him on TV, mm. you know, so that's how my friend knew him, you know, because his wife was in the business. And, OK, so this guy says to us, I will never forget this. It was Michael Jackson's 30th anniversary in New York. Oh, Madison Square Garden. I yeah, was Madison there. Square Garden. Okay. This guy, this guy tells it's me. It's not going to write itself. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to write itself. This guy tells me and my buddy that he's Michael Jackson's musical director, and he's going to get us tickets, and we'll be able to go see this show. Just, you just got to get to New York and go see this show. So I am ready. I'm a, my first concert I ever went to in my life was a Michael Jackson concert at Dodger Stadium, the victory tour. You know what I mean? So I'm ready to go. I got my glove. You know what I mean? I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? I'm just, dude, listen. Everywhere I am, I'm doing the thriller dance for no reason. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? I'm at McDonald's doing a thriller dance. I was ready to go flossing too, like going to see Michael. You know? So a week before, a week before we're about to go, and then my college roommate was gonna let him stay, let us stay with him, and he was like, "Oh, you know, I got to get a couch." And you know, so he's going through changes. Okay, he's shopping. My buddy's shopping. All right, so then Futon shop. here it comes. A week before we're going to go, we already got the tickets to go. And I, my buddy, I say to him, well, do you got the tickets yet? Because are they special? You know, because it's like 30th yeah. anniversary. Are they yeah. gold or some yeah. shit like that? He goes, you know what? I actually haven't heard from him. Let me, let me, let me call him and ask him about the ticket. Oh. Oh, he calls yeah. him, and then the guy's like, hey, uh, you know, I don't got the tickets yet, but don't worry. Everything's going to be cool. <laughs> Just go to New York. All right. Two days before we bust to, about to leave, the guy's wife calls my buddy. He goes, listen, she goes, listen, I'm so sorry, but he isn't Michael Jackson's musical director. He, his girl calls. His, his girl calls his God. my boy's wife. It's actually bubbles. Wow. And just reveals oh the whole thing. The guy's God. just like a liar. Now, this is the part that got me. This motherfucker said, just it's go to York. New York. <clears throat> yeah, just go. Yeah, like, yeah. are you kidding me? Like, what was he going to say? And we were going to be at, what, I'm going to be at Will Call in my thriller jacket. Like, yeah, uh, Eric Griffin. You know what I mean? Yeah, and sure. then it would have been like, we, nothing. Like, Yo, you would have spent, I'm telling you this, you would have spent every dollar you had in the bank on kill. scalp tickets. Oh, dude. No, on scalp tickets. But I was At that point, once you're furious. outside, yeah, you would have been there. like, I'm seeing this. 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 But the point of it, though, is that, the point is that, so he, they need to go with the lie. 
So like the point where we would have got to New York and he would have said some shit like, it's out of my control and because to, well, to, or to, I had the tickets, but I someone hate higher up than yeah. me. Yeah. The funniest, the funniest thing about this is when the whole lie in my case unraveled, everything was obviously a lie. I right. right. Listen, what I'm saying is yeah. I can't remember what the girl's name, but it was the name. It was too fashion designer. It was like Chanel Armani, but oh. it wasn't really that. Yo, okay, but it was bro, like how did you how, know, oh, like, oh my god, yeah. Chanel I, Gucci, I mean, Louis Vuitton like, the third. Yeah. How cute was she, motherfucker? Yeah. Yo, yo, it was so. It that wasn't what was it was. It was like no, it was Cavalli. It was like something girl. Cavalli. It was like it was ridiculous. When I looked at it afterwards, I go, oh, it's like straight up gossip girl weird. bullshit. It's like it, it was weird. ridiculous. Gossip man. girl fan fiction. So I'm gonna tell my cat before there was catfish. My, my, God bless my late cousin Andre Harrell. He had a live operator. So when you would call uh, and, and nobody was there, she would pick up and she would say, "Hey, Harrell residents, what's the message?" Da, da, da. Got it. So after talking to this, this 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 young lady for quite some time, you know, we we, we build a rapport. So I would call her. Wait, I understand. You were the operator. No, Andre had a live operator. So, but how did it? Who talked to her for a long period of time? I would. I would call her and say well, there was a number. And oh, say the operator. The operator. Sorry, the operator. Okay, I get. It. I thought it was somebody calling it, up. Got no. It. Okay. So he had a live operator. Yes. And if if somebody called for you and left a message, she, she had would call and relay. It. And she would say, "Hey, O'Neill, such and such called yes. this time in regard to da da da." And then you're getting all flirty with the operator. I'm getting all flirty with the <laughs> operator, and I was like, "Listen, we've been talking. Just for like, ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. now that you ain't shit. I'm like, <laughs> we've been talking for a couple of years now. I was like, right." What do you look like? Yeah. She was like, I mean. She's like, I'm hot, baby. She was like, a lot of people say I look like Selma Hyatt, but I have blue eyes. Like, like come so, on. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, uh, we, where do you live? She was like, I live in Brooklyn. How I fat said, was she? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, uh. Because <laughs> I know where this is going. Yo, yeah. She oh, big yeah. as a yo. motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. love to know the girl I was talking to for those like seventy two hours. Yo, I said, like, I said, where do you live? She said, I live in Brooklyn. I said, you ever been to Junior's Cheesecake Factory? She mm-hmm. said, of course. I said, well, let's meet there. Girl, yeah, I, I don't like cheesecake, but, but yeah. let's, let's meet there. But I, I like blue eyes. I, I like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So he so he see one fat girl at the table the and looking around for the blue eye girl. Carrying the slice of New York cheesecake. <laughs> yo, O'Neal really I, had high hopes. Uh, <laughs> like uh, super high uh, hopes. Like yo, walking dude, with a smile yeah, on dude. his face. Yeah, he thought it was gonna be dust till dawn. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be on the thing. Dude, dude, <laughs> dude, this this I'm parked. This girl comes and knock on the window. I swear to God, she didn't look fucking human. Like, like, she was a mess. A fucking, no, nothing. Selma Hyatt, she had on blue contacts. She was like, she was fucking Dracula. It was crazy. So, so she's knocking the window. She's like, O'Neal. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know who you're talking about. I said, no. You, uh, you said you're not O'Neal. I said, I'm not O'Neal. So she was like, no. She said, O'Neal. I was like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not O'Neal. So she's like, I fucking know you're O'Neal. <laughs> so look, so so she was like, she was like, oh, sorry, my mistake. So the next day I called, checked my message. She was like, hey, O'Neal, what happened? I was like, some shit happened with my family. I couldn't come. She's like, O'Neal. You like, let her off the hook like that? She said, O'Neal, I, I talk to you. So she said, like, O'Neal, I talk to you every day. I can close my eyes and I know your voice. Oh man, now I feel bad. She said, I, I knew it was you. <laughs> she said, I knew it was <laughs> You should have had a picture. You should have done it like this. Hey bitch, this is Selma Hyatt. <laughs> this is Selma Hyatt. Let me Photoshop some blue eyes on this bitch. She don't look nothing like you. <laughs> you nice guy. You let her off the hook. Are you kidding me? I would have got out the car and stand on my roof. Does this monster look like Selma Hyatt? <laughs> We are so canceled, bro. Are, are you Done. kidding me? Yo, this is the final. Yo, you do. She told me. a good 11 episode yeah. run. She, <laughs> <laughs> she said, I talk to you every day. I know your voice, even with my eyes closed. She said, I'm sorry. I'm not what you wanted me to be. Oh, and it man. fucked me up. Oh, man. That's, yeah. Can I yeah, tell you that's, why that's, I felt bad? Because I knew that. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. It's Devil's like that. advocate no. over here. Taxi Stop it. <laughs> she, not what you. She misrepresented. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She did. If she would have yeah. said, yeah, I'm, you she know. She said, look, I don't. if she said to you, O'Neal, you're not going to be prepared for what you're going to say. Yeah. Then you yeah. would have yeah. been like, oh, prepared. you actually got exactly yeah. what you said. Yeah. She said, Selma Hayek with blue eyes. And I'm supposed to feel bad? 
I'm supposed to feel bad that the lunch lady showed yeah. up with bad contacts? Oh, man. Like, come on, dude. Oh, that's that's yeah, she did I'm you wrong, dude. He, she did you. Oh, and you know listen, what? That's a form of catfishing too, man. Yeah. The, thing is, the whole catfish thing is just misrepresenting yourself. It's a bait and switch. It's so let yeah. you believe something exists that that plays into yeah. in my head I go, "Oh shit, here's this cute young med student who's from a wealthy family, knows all the fucking gossip girl kind of lingo." And I keep referring to that. Yeah. Cuz that's what the time was, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, where it would just be like, but you know. He, but he should, But it was all bullshit. But here's the thing too about this story. You let her off the hook. I also heard. You know, no, no, listen. You let her off the hook because you went like she this. Uno no, no, no. He, he said, exactly. He said, uh, no, it's not me. That should have been the end of it. She should have went, okay, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah she yeah. But no, but she had to go, I know it was you. Yeah, 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 she and did. And let me make you feel bad that yeah. I'm hideous. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, man. That's messed up right there. That's how they do it. You try, he tried to do the right thing. He tried to like, he tried well, to bow crazy. out gracefully. Yeah, it's crazy yeah, too yeah, because yeah. you don't want to be presumptuous and a fucking douchebag and go, let me see a picture of you. How do I see what you look like? Yeah. So you know when you're walking into this, it could be you're rolling the dice. You're but the times the are changing now where you're just gonna be like, what's your Instagram? Yep. Yeah. You right. know what? I mean, so look, like, I'm not I going like... on a blind date with anybody. You know what I mean? That's not happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if somebody goes like, like oh, you somebody should meet. I'd be like, yeah, okay, what's I met, name? I met my chick on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but the, uh, but I always yeah. I mean, I tell people like this though. It's like you just get off it right away. Like I invited her to a show. Yeah. Right away, I say, yeah, I'm I'm performing tonight. Yeah. You know, come through. Just come through. Yeah. And then right. if they do that, then you, you're off of it and you're ready to go. You're right. off on you're another off. Yeah, world. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. But, but if you stay in that world, then you have the ability. See, in the back in the day, it would be like, you know, it would be like you couldn't send pictures. So somebody would be like, well, I'll have on a red sweater with a right. with a rose in my hair. Right. So then you could just be like creeping. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you see you see a monster, you're like. <laughs> I mean, that's like that office clip where Michael is getting a coffee and he's like, I'm not Michael. And the girl comes up to him because he didn't like how she looked. Right, and then, right. then the guy's like. Coffee for Michael? Yeah. And he's just saying that. He's like, coffee for Michael? He's like, he's like hot chocolate with uh, two extra squirts of caramel. <laughs> Michael, this is your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Life changes. It's oh, different. my God. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the great thing about social media now. I was yeah. saying this to Matt, too. It's like <clears throat> now we have a dossier. Like yeah. if before, yeah. when we'd no, be at a bar true. or something, it, how great would it be if you could walk up to somebody in a bar and be like, "Yeah, can I see your folder?" You yeah, know, yeah. And, I, and you had yeah. to show, and then you were like, we "Oh, you went to mutual friends." Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. oh, we have fifty yeah. mutual yeah. friends. You know, Rachel oh, this, too. This is when you went to high school. Yeah. Yo, the Level mutual four. friend thing's a big thing because yeah. mm-hmm. that that shows you what lanes to kind of go down. Yep. But yeah. you, you also you a little insight into the person, you know. But you also know what your friends think about you by who they try to set you up with. Right. Like I can't stand that shit. You know, when right. they go like, she's, I, she's no, so cute, you're going to really like her. Yeah, yeah, like, and you get there, you like, this is what you this think? Is, yeah. <laughs> this is what you right. think of me? Right. Yeah, this is what you think of me? Yeah. yeah. Right. I always say I'm just cute enough where people think they their fat girlfriend is going to be like, I'm good for them. Right. <laughs> That's right where I'm at. You right. know what I mean? I'm right where they're like, oh, you're going to like her. She's nice. Right. And I got to be like, I yeah, mean, but do you guys, really? Do you have guy friends that ever set you up? None of my guy friends ever set me up. Yeah, I don't they, have they any better. guy friends who want to right. yeah, yeah, now that you know, I feel more, like only girlfriends have mine have set like, me you know up what with mean, their they girlfriends. Keep yeah. for themselves, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, guys are just, I hate setups. Like, I don't like setups <sighs> either because then there's expectations. I like going into things, clean yes. slates, like what yeah. happens, yes. what happens, what yeah, doesn't, I don't what doesn't. Like, I never get set up. I don't want to be set up. But it's not even a clean slate. I don't want anybody. I met a lot of girls on Instagram. I actually just, like, I. it's kind of crazy. My buddy's one of the founders of Raya. I've never been on a dating app. I want to say like four or five months ago, went to dinner with a group of people. Ian Ziering, actually, that guy from 90210, was like, you guys on Raya? We're all like, no. He's like, I'm sending you all friend invites now. So we're like, all right. Like, yeah, you Raya know. used to be good in the beginning. Right. So that's I what heard, everybody said. So I actually, I, went, I literally signed up then. <laughs> But I didn't go and like fill out the thing till like two weeks Why ago. Dutch? It's so fucking weird. Yo, he's right. You know what I'm talking about. Yo, he's there right. Is. Yo, check There's it out. He's... I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for friends, and she's like, I'm in Germany. Like, bitch, I ain't flying you out here. Like, what are you? Bro, like... what, so what is with that? The craziest thing is, so I go on it literally like a week or two ago, probably like two weeks ago. I don't understand how the app works, so I called my buddy Mike, who's one of the founders of it. He's like, wait, what? Hold on, let me go look at the app. I, I don't really understand what you're talking about. He's like trying to figure out because he doesn't even fucking look at it. 
even though he created it like a decade ago. Um, I finally figure out how to navigate it. They keep sending me girls. None of the girls are in L.A. Right. They're in like Denmark. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll heart that shit. I mean, if she can figure out how to get over here. <laughs> I connected with some girl who was in Chicago, and I go, hey, how you know, hey, what up? How are you? Whatever it is she goes. She's like, I'm just... I'm I'm just currently looking at job opportunities in LA so I can move there. I wish it could be like. And I'm like, oh, oh, and I just went LOL. Like I'm like, like I don't know. Like you know me, what I just, happens, but I, man. I wanted to try it. On you know, every app on everything, it starts pure, and then the people yeah. get to it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. now on Instagram, I get these messages from a chick who has zero posts. Six followers. What the fake. fuck is it's that? Fake hey, hey, yeah. hey, um, uh, where are you from? No, no. I'm like, fuck off. No, it's fake. See, I get it's crazy really shit. Chick, just though, get to it. your website. I always go, just no, send me the website fake. link yes, and I'm no, not going to click. It's just bots, bro. I get yeah. those all the time. Hey, you ever, did you ever get on Kick? I was going to ask you guys. What is Kick? So Kick is a messaging app. That's where I was on too, to the point where it was even on my Instagram bio. Like, hey, message me on Kick. Really? Kick turned into just straight up. It was just bot central. And they had these bots that are connected to like some sort of computer algorithm because you can have a full-on conversation. Yeah. So then I figured it out. It'd be like, hey, it was good to see you last night. And I'd be, be like, and I would just write back. I'd be like, you didn't see me, bitch. Fuck you. you know? <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they would write back like, they would write like, oh, my God, right? And they would be like, we should go to dinner on Saturday. And be like, they, so they, I go, this bro, works get, on people. Bro, don't you, yeah. get all, don't you get all those on WhatsApp also? I get them all the time yeah. on WhatsApp. Like pictures of Asian girls. Like, hi, yeah. Bobby. Hi, Robbie. It's Lily. I'm like, I don't like, know you. you man. I just had that when I was like, I don't know you. Yeah, I don't respond. It's like, all right, ridiculous. No, I like, I like, I like to go in so I can screen cap the whole stupid conversation because it's funny thing. It is. It's a funny yeah. like back it and is. forth yes. till they get to like just you know, oh here comes your website. Yeah. Like, like who buy, I'll, I'll be like, who buys this bullshit? Yeah. Does this work on anybody? Yeah. Then they write. Then they get mad. Yeah, I mean the thing is, all, I mean all, even, all even with the scam calls, there's this, there's that. all these YouTube videos of like people who are really good at computers scamming the scammers. So like what they'll do is they'll try to take over your computer and then like they'll, they'll do whatever they do. But then the scammer, the people who are getting scammed know that they're getting scammed, so they do it right back. And then yeah. I remember one time they brought up the camera of the scammers, and now the people can see their own selves on their own video camera that got brought up from the person they're scamming. So now they're immediately like. All freaking out! You can see the whole call center. It, really? Dude, that's sick. That's sick. Scamming the scammer. No, that social security that's one is great. fucking bananas. Dude, it's, it's though. So I almost it, got. It was like a couple years ago. I got a call. It said Apple. Oh that. yes, they yeah. do that. Apple. Yes. And normally it'll be like six, four, seven. And so I'm like, oh, it's, it's fake. But it said Apple. Huh? Yeah. You know, your your account's been compromised. You need to do this on your phone. And I'm like, and I I almost said I went into my settings. She's like, you need to turn that off and do this. And I'm like, why do I have to turn that off? And that's when I started thinking about it. Then as I'm on the phone with her, I Google like the whole Apple scam call. Yeah. And they're like, it's a whole thing. And I'm yeah. like, I immediately hung up on it. But I'm yeah, like, that's all fucking scam. Everybody gets that, co- shit, everybody gets that everybody gets that copyright everything. shit on their the Instagram the too. Take it. So close. Uh, the copyright. Like my buddy called me up. He's like, hey man, what's this copyright shit? I just got. I was like, dude, if it's really Instagram, they'd email it to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come in your message. I get this fucking call like 3 a.m. every morning. Shong chai, shong chai. Shong chai, shong chai. What's that? I don't know what the fuck. Like, what, what? Singing you a Chinese lullaby at three a.m. That sounds like for years. Come on, bro. I know who for that years. is. You know who yeah. that is? That's Blue Eyes on my high. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like, ever now. I'm like, hello? Hello? <laughs> 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 Fuck is this? No, it sounds sexy. Is though. it a new number? Or do you just decide to not block it yeah, just for curiosity? Said, purposes? No, 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 dude. It's like block. Sometimes it says New York number. It's like weird, but it's like this Asian person. Just block the number, man. Yeah. Okay. I think he wakes up every day. He's like, oh, here it comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think mean, that's, that's like, no, I got, like, I got terrorized by these chicks, man. Like, uh, remember the girl I told you about I played the Barry White for? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so around the time I'm hanging with that girl, I start getting these calls, right? And this is before I even had cell phones. So this is like late 90s, like around 99, 2000 or something. And my home phone rang and I, I just answer it and they'd be like, hey, piggy, piggy. <laughs> what? The water's in your pants. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> what? Like, the water. Piggy, piggy? Hey, piggy piggy, 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 the water is in your pants. And they would just be like, rah, rah, piggy, piggy. Like, and I was like, like, what the fuck is this? You freak me out, right? Like, this is going on. And I'm dating this girl. And I'm like, oh, somebody's like cracking me some, like, weird Manson shit. Family type Yo, shit that's right what there. it was like, oh. right? 
So fucking, this goes on for days. I'm like, hello. Hey, piggy, piggy. Oink, oink. And it's like a group of girls, like, just doing this shit, like, <laughs> fucking with me. And I'm, like, just getting really, really disturbed by it, you know? Fucking, and I'm always trying to, back in the day, what'd you do? You hit stars. What was it? 67. Star, 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 seven. Yeah, then they had a block for that. You know? Yes, they had a block for it. <laughs> but one day after a week, I fucking hit it, and I go, they're like a studio. Where was it? They, it, they didn't block it. One time they didn't block it. I star six seven, and they're like studio, and I'm like, is so and so recording there? This is the girl I'm dating. Uh, yeah. I'm like, can you patch me through? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, somebody asked the phone. I'm like, hey, can I get so and so? She's like, hey. And I'm like, it was you. This whole time it was like a fucking horror movie. Oh I'm like, for the rest of I go, what piggy the piggy. The water's in your pants, and they just hear people cracking up, like all these girls. Her and her friends, this girl I was dating, was torturing me. For a fucking week, fucking with my head. Well, why? Why though? Because they do? just thought it was funny. I was dating her. Was like she thought it was funny. Prank or something? I don't know. Like an initiation funny, yeah, into like, the friend group. Well, how long did you date her after that? <laughs> we didn't really date. We were more like homies. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, piggy, piggy. I was like, I, I used to go out with some girl. We break up. Was this the cartel girl? No, this girl, this girl oh, is man. legit, but oh, we, we were just more friends anyway, but we dated for like a minute, but oh, this I don't shit. know, this episode but it's crazy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've hilarious. never laughed this much in an episode oh, my before. God. Is that true? This is the most we've ever this laughed. Yeah, he's good. I, yo, I, I put this guy up there with the JB smooth, a funny <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> oh, JB <laughs> had his fucking piss in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So did Eric, you know? Uh, yeah. Well, make sure you guys check out Jen to Jen, September 15th. Yo, I can't yes. fucking wait for your guys' pod, yeah, man, yeah, you know? In the gym. A lot of good. You know, it'd be cool if we did, like, you know, every few months, we just mashed him up and you let yeah, us, yeah, like, yeah. you know, ride his fucking carpet ride of five yeah. million followers <laughs> and your ability to you know, be fucking I, mean, I funny. like that. I like coming Yo. back to talk more and, and yeah. all that yeah. stuff. So, like, no, I love it because I want to talk about the acting and the transition from that yeah. into the serious we shit, too. come back and get cray. <laughs> but, yeah. yo, this was, this was a lot of fucking yeah, fun, this man. This was dope. This was really dope, man. Super excited to be awesome, guys. Thank, thank you, you so much, Eric no, Griffin, Matthew Espinosa.